at least at least that much more. Okay. So as promised, we're starting a new Indian tonight, a new mitzvah. Um, I got a couple shilos about this recently. That got me thinking about it. Uh, so I want to let's take the opportunity to learn it together. Kisivna v'ayis chodesh, pasuk and parshas kiseitze. We're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. Kiseitze is during Elul, but uh, before you know it, we'll be there. Kisivna v'ayis chodesh, and you build a new house. V'asisa maka legagecha. One of the things you have to do is you have to, besides for getting mezuzahs, right? You got to make a maka for your gag. If you have a roof, um, particularly we're talking about a flat roof, a roof that's usable, that people might go on, uh, you got to make a mic around it. You have to make a fence um, that uh, to protect people from, from, from falling. That's the first part of the past. Again, the Gemara Darshan, the, the, the Medrash, they think it is Darshan, I think it's a Sifri. It's not, it's, it's it doesn't matter whether you build, you don't have to actually build the house. You can, uh, you can do a renovate, you can expand your house, you can buy a house. If you buy something and, and you now own the house and there is a gag, uh, a roof that is usable, that, need, that does not have protection around it, you have to do it. And also the passage continues to saw some Do not put Domim is really basically, I mean it's a death trap. You know, don't have anything in your house that can that can kill somebody. So I Pasha I don't think the the end of the Pasha Kipo Hanoi Fumimenu means like don't think, don't be the type of person who thinks like it's not my problem. Like I, you know, I like living on the edge. I believe, you know, in really, really cutting edge stuff. And you know, if someone else is a, is a, is a shemaz, that's his problem. Like I don't know, don't come into my property. You fall. That's like uh, that's Look at your, your problem. Line. What? Look at your <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, exactly. Uh, well, uh, that process. Uh, Okay, that's good. If it's for protection, you are not supposed to have Kelov Ra in your house. You're not supposed to have a wild dog in your house. Um, but if you have it for protection and you le- and you're very responsible about it, it could be you know it could be a it could be someone's mother. But okay, let's get it. Why you're allowed to rob a company? Because you're allowed to protect yourself. Why is the dog yeah, but here it's like saying, okay, because I'm allowed to protect myself. Let me put a gun at the door that's going to trigger whenever a kid comes to ask for some candy. And say, I'm allowed to put a good proper's there. I mean, that's not, you know, that's not really cool, right? Um, uh, not in the hospital. This is crunch time. This is like good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but next week, other than we're done. Right? Um, Mashari is uh, yeah. Mashari is practicing his yeah, my, um, I will write down all the names. This is true. Um, what? Not him. You're someone else. You you heard Doctor Doctor Anonymous. Okay. Um, oh right, Doctor Anonymous. Um, uh, Death traps. Okay, right. Don't put. Don't have a death trap in your house. Is, is the law. We saw some dumb of this. Keep on off the because that the way I understand the posture from the post is because somebody who's a faller is gonna fall. So like you, you can't say, oh, it's his problem. Like keep on hanoifo. Someone who's falling is going is going to fall. Uh, the mafarshim learned it a little differently. They say keep on off the is by burning a taina. Why can't someone say, listen, it's, if, if someone's supposed to die, if someone's supposed to fall out of the roof and die, they're going to die, right? It's a dimin hashemayim on them. So what do I have to do with it? <laughs> you know, if this is where you're supposed to die, this is where you're supposed to die, right? It's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a classic hashgacha, this type of taina, you know, and, and it's hard to know where to draw the lines there. But the Pasuk is behind that and saying, no, keep on oifel me menu. You don't want the oifel to be, you don't want it to be a yidei al yod cha. You're right. He's going to get what's coming to him. But as the first say, Megagl and Zaka, Megagl and Zkosa, De Zaka, Vechayev, De Chayev, we have good things happen through good people and bad things happen through people are, who are, I, say, I shouldn't say bad people, it's not really the point. It's that when you when you are irresponsible, irresponsible things will, will be Baal Yodcha. So you can't just say, oh, you know, this guy was supposed to die, you know, so so what's in my problem if I don't have a mouth? But no, keep an open menu. You don't, don't you be part of this. Let, let, let the Rebbein Shalom figure out, uh, figure out the other parts. You be responsible and you put up. Um, your mind, but okay. But there's two. There are two in, in this in this pasuk. There's an assay of a sisa makel gagecha, and then there's a loisa say of loisa some domi v'secha. And that's first I'm saying it's an assay, and and it's a loisa say. But I believe there's a yisay stick my flakes between the Rambam and the Chinuch how to how to how to set this up. So the Rambam just in in the whole sense of the way the Rambam discusses Allah, he starts it 
the way he presents it in his presentation, Allah says as follows, Mitzvah sasei la'asas odam maka l'gagah. So mitzvah say to make a maka. That's first. Shnei amar v'sisa maka l'gagah. And then he talks about dinim of it. It has to be a base dira. It has to be a place where people live. But if it's if it's just a if it's just a storage house, the Ramam holds a base of bakar, which we'll get to. What the Ram Shita, what where the Ram got there from? That a storage house, a shed. The Ramam holds is, is potter. But it could it's possible in office also. We don't pass in like we don't pass in like this nakud in the Ramam, but it's possible. Uh, they are not. Um, you, you don't have to. You don't have to put them up. These are the, the Ramam's quoting. These are these are midrashim that says Let's it's a house that's less than four by four amos. Uh, you do not have to, it is, uh, it is pater min amaka. And then he goes on dealing with that. Now, then the Rambam says as follows. Um, first he says, mm-hmm. If you do it, you're mevatel mitzvah By the way, this is a major nakuda. You're mevatel every second. If you need a maka on your place, and I've seen people who need makas in places who have not put them up. If you are not putting up a ma'al, the contractor's going to get to it. It's on order. It's on back order. It's a bit to say every second you do not have that maka up on there. Is there enough for me to whether or not the place where the maka bean is is fully accessible or not? Um, what, like, what do you mean? What, what's an like, example? Like, as you have, you have a rule, but it's kind of easy to get up there. But it can be? Like, yeah. what, you'd have to be Spider-Man to get up there? Or yeah, you... Then it's not a A window. You need to climb out a window? No, you have to pull down. You have to pull down to the attic. Like, there's a whole. I think that still needs. A, I I think so. No, I believe so. Why not? Yeah. If you, once it needs it, you're mivatlet. Huh? Every roof has access. There's no such thing as a roof that doesn't have access. No. Uh, what are you talking you about? No, 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 no. Not every roof has access. It's not I think it has access maybe through no, like. A window window. Or something like that. No, it's well, a window it's might not be. A window might be a maka. That might be a maka from going onto the roof in and of itself. Like if you're not. You're talking about a building, you're talking about houses with flat roofs. Yeah. If you, we're not talking about, if you're talking about a regular house, if you seal off the access, then you don't need a mock over. No, it has to be that that it that it's a, that it is. Um, but seal off doesn't mean there's a, there's a door and you lock it. I don't think that's enough to be sealed. You know, because you can unlock it. You know, just as easily. If you but if you seal the door, it'll close. You know, that's a different story. Okay, but so the Ram says you're over and you're over and I say and and and, and the way says. Yeah. Well, you put up a roof. Uh, every single second, every single second, second. second. Yeah, there are those people say when the first talk about things you can mekayim every second. One of the things they list is micro every time. If you're in a house that, that requires a micro, it has one up. You're mekayim so every second. You're supposed to put something up temporarily. You got to put it up right away. You really should tell them as soon as it's done. You got to set it up. Now there is there is a possibility of a shita. The Morgan of Rome says by mezuzah that until you're dar in the house, you don't, you don't, you don't put up the mezuzah. And we follow the sheet of the Morgan of Rome. You know, there are, those, there are many cholkim on him and say, no, as soon as the house is finished, let's say your house is ready to go, but you're not living there yet. You're closed, right? Um, yeah, but you're not, you're not living there yet, right? Um, so when do, you, when do you have to put up your mezuzahs? We go, the, 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 the Morgan of Rome says uh, uh, that when you, when, you, when you live in the house is when you, is when you put up the mezuzahs. And that's generally the accepted minute that they wait till, till you actually move into the house. So some want to tell that too to Micah also that until you actually live in the house, it has to be it has to be a base dira. Um, so until you actually live in the house, um, that, then then not. Nah, it's a little bit of a stretch because because mezuzah. I'll, I'll give you a marshal. By mezuzah, the halacha is that that if you if you're if you're a landlord, you do not have to put up do not have to put up a mezuzah. So I have to put up the mezuzah. The Gemara says because Chayvas Hadar, the mitzvah, the chiv is on the person who lives there. It's a shaila in the paiskim, you're showing him in the paiskim. Is the renter mechuyim midrabon or midiraisa? But it's pasha that the that the landlord is part of midiraisa because of because the gemara says chayvus hadar by by um, by by, by uh, maka the minchaschinuk brings that that even though a seicha the renter is chayv that's all midrabon on and the pais can say midiraisa it's the it's the it's the landlord that is chayv and he clears the minchaschinuk he's not sure if if now that there's a chayv midrabon on what is was a mafkia the chayv midiraisa of the of the maskerna. We'll discuss in a second. Meaning, meaning, he's clearing as follows. So let's just let's do it now. Once we're into it, he's clearing that that it, the midrabanan we said the renter is chayav. Does that mean midrabanan the renter is chayav only if the landlord didn't build the mikeh and was refusing to build it? But really, the first choice is for the is for the landlord to be building it. Who do you go to first? Can no, the can no, no, no. Well, should be the landlord, but should also that that's would be on the Um. Well, both, but in both paces, it says bibe secha. It's a question of who who owns yeah, it. But, but, yeah, but the sasim bibe secha is a is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, a dinner when you own a property. Well, 
It says true. It says I see some maka liga gecha your roof. And and um, and uh, and <laughs> Both of them say you're with your But it's oh, but it's still but it's If I see in your house, sorry, right, if I see in your house, there's a sakana, I have no chiyuv to go and close it up. Because it's because it says losan no v'secha. So who said who said the soichus anymore? Right? Who said the soichus? Not it's not his house. If it's not be'secha, then it's not his house. Right? Okay. So that's the first thing. Second thing is that there's a sakana over there. Right? Right. 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 Um, so that's that's a very good point. So, Clary, yeah. Me, Even though by Mizuzu, you're yeah, not. but he's he locked the house up. There's no access to the house right now. So that's I, I, let, let's not get. I don't. Right, know, my me, point is, is that the person living there is Levi Sachel. It's you're living there, so you have to make sure that everything. The guy who's not living there, right? He's not living there. But the I don't think so. That's a chiddush. That's a chiddush. No, what you're saying. That, okay, so because that's what I'm saying. You can see yeah. both sides of it. One is where you have the owner of the house. He's I've actually, never seen that. Did that someone owner, who owns a house? I just I, no. I've never seen that. If you own a a, 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 a summer home, home in the middle of the day, so you don't put a marker. Yeah. He's, he's responsible for the roof. If the roof falls in, who do you think is going to pay for the new roof? The one okay. who owns the house. Right. Yeah. You're right. But it's better you can see from the other side where the guy who's living in the house. Whereas if you weren't here and I lock it up, nobody would have access to it. Would I be mechuyiv? I believe the answer is yes. You would be because the owner of the house would be mechuyiv, and that's a big difference between between. So I, my point is, if that's true, maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't seen that halacha anywhere, and it sounds to me that very clearly that it would not be that way. That the halacha would be the owner of the house would be mechuyiv, and it's just a question when he rented it out. Maybe be drabbanu or mafkiyah the chiyah from him and put it on the renter. But um, but either way, but but I'm saying so. So therefore, you, you see that there's a big difference between mezuzah and malka. Mezuzah, it's the hedge of the landlord does not have to put up the mezuzah. Here, the landlord does, and it's just that he that the soicher gets takes on the chiyav. Maybe when he when he lives in the house, maybe the mask is even. Maybe the the landlord is really the one who's who's still responsible. So you see, there's a difference. So now to start saying now to get it back to what we were discussing to say, oh, a magen says by mezuzah you don't have to put the mezuzah until you go in the house. So who did malka? You don't have to put up the mezuzah until you live there. Is a stretch, and, and the price can don't seem to go the way they seem to pass that the chiv Michael's once it's finished. It has to be Roy Ladira. It has to be a base dira. So if it's totally just a shell and you can't live in there, then it's not it's not Roy Ladira. But once it becomes fit to be a livable house, you really are mechuyiv in Maka right away, and you, you got to make sure it's ready to go. You got to tell your contractor. It's the same. Listen, just like with the mezuzah, you, ha- you you have a little bit of time to practically get the mezuzahs. You know, the same way you can take the mezuzahs to have them checked, and it could take a day or two to have them checked. And you you, you don't have to you're not mavatel on a say every t- every second you have that down because that's that's part of the that's part of the upkeep of the mitzvah. But you have to be doing it as quickly as possible. So if you realize, hey, I got to put this maka up right now, you know, you really got to get it up um, as quickly as quickly as you can. You can't be you can't be waiting on it for the for the iron to be done. And a lot of people do that. They're building houses, and you see. Um, and you see it happening. I said that there were a couple of things that were the impetus for me for me wanting to wanting to learn the Indian. One of them is I have one of my sons who got this friend a lot. And I was going to go pick him up. And he just they just built this new house, and they've got one of these high porches. It's like you know a good six seven steps up, and uh, and there's no there's no fence on it. And you know, and I, I I said to the guy, I said you know speak to your of, but uh, uh, but you know I think you need to put a I think you need to put a mic up here. Porch. It's like the porch that it, it's it's the front porch and it, it's where it's the walkway to his front door. Right. It's like you're really walking there. It's like a pretty it's a it's a pretty narrow walkway and it's like totally open on the side. I mean, listen, if if I would fall off it, it wouldn't be pleasant. Um, I, I don't think I would kill myself. I don't think it would be less awesome. Don't be this asshole. A little kid, I, I don't know. You know, it, it's it's dangerous. It shouldn't be an older person. It's I don't know. It's a new it's the height for 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 sorry for, so so there's a height for there's two things here that's what's important to differentiate that's what I'm trying to get for there, no no there's a there's a height for the ikra the the assay of asisa makal gagecha that has to be ten tefachim high uh, ten tefachim is about thirty inches so that's not much it's not very high. Uh, then there's a dinner with sasim dom and vesecha so dom and vesecha is really more subjective I, you know is it. Is it dangerous or not? Well, that's not porch. So that's a good question. That's what I want to get. I do want to get to that. Yes. I mean, I'm, 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 the whole thing of mezuzah is kind of a kiddush that the side there is high. Because when you first look at it, you think that the owner of the house should be. So it's not such a kiddush that that the Baal should be hived by Micah because it's, 
Exactly, that's my point. My point is, is that by mezuzah, the Gemara said it's chayvus hadar. It's a chayvus person living there. It doesn't say that by Micah, it's chayvus hadar. So it makes sense that the Morgan of Rome would say by mezuzah, until you live there, you don't put it up, because it's chayvus hadar. It has to do with living. It doesn't have to do with living by, by Micah necessarily. Okay, I want to move on from that point. I don't want to, I don't want to spend too much, too much time on it. But what I'm saying is, is, okay, so the Rambam sets up that there are two, there are, there are two things here. There's a mitzvah sasei of asisa maka. That's like a very, like a lot of things work in the Torah. That's a very mukter dika halacha. You have a roof. It's a base dira. It's not, it's not, an, it's not a storage house. It's not a this. It's not a that. And then there's, and then there's a lava, and then there's a separate lava. So no mesecha. And he continues and he says, echad agag, echad Anything that's dangerous is, is a problem here. And, and that he quotes like a pit or anything like that, even if it has water in it. This is where the pool thing comes in, a pit that has water on it. He says it's chayev. Um, anything that could cause, that is, that could, that is dangerous for people, it's a mitzvah assay to remove it. But what mitzvah assay does he say? He says, doesn't say, he says a different mitzvah assay. Um, he says, uh, protect yourself. You have to protect people. And if you don't do it, you're over the lesasim damim bevesecha. So to me, it's very clear in the Rambam that there are two separate things. There's the mitzvah sasei of sisa ma'ika. That's a roof that has rules to it that have to do with the base dira. And then there's a separate lois to say lesasim damim bevesecha. That's really subjective, and you have to figure it out. And then he goes on. He lists many examples that Chomim give. You know, like uh, uncovered water in those days was considered a sakana, stuff like that. How do you, how do you draw the line? You're putting your headlights on at night. A calavra he throws in there. What? Putting on your headlights when you're driving. Is that technically you're putting anything that you're not? This is a specific thing about, about like your property type of thing. Like you're not supposed to be leaving in your, um, you're saying like you're, you're making your car into a, yeah, into your a. Car, uh, so you're putting on your headlights so it's not, you get a mitzvah for that? You're, are you Mekayim that say if you shavu the chosher? Yeah, that's if you protect yourself, put on your seatbelt, driving safely, safe, safe drive, best safe driver discount you could get right here. You can get every. That's your mazik. Right, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. At. I don't know. Are you putting a muzzle on your pet? Let's say here, you have a dog that. You know, bite, so you put a muzzle on, so you get a mitzvah. So I'm not sure. In, in this essay, when you protect yourself, you're getting a mitzvah every second. In the right. Sisamak, you're getting, there's, there's an active component to the mitzvah. When you do it, you're, you're getting a mitzvah every second when it's there. Just because you're, 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 you're being mentioned. careful, is that, is that, I don't know. I think These I things are hard to know when you're saying something. Huh? Like I think I remember Pom saying something. Yeah. Like that you should, every time you, every time you protect yourself. It's not a mica. Okay, but I want to focus on on the mica. So that's the Raman. The Raman focuses on two different things. But listen to the listen to the the chinuch one second. I think the chinuch is very clear in the way he separates thing here. He he has two he has two mitzvahs. One is very long and one is like three lines. And one is a mitzvah, assay and one is loisa assay. What does that say? That say is lahaser hamichshaylim vanigafi mikol mishkusenu to remove things that are dangerous from our from our chunas from our from our houses. That's how that is how he sets up the mitzvah. When he says the loisa say, he says, but he says you're also a loisa for this, and he says the loisa is the flip side. Not to put things that are that are that are that are that are, that are mishkusenu. And he says if you want to know the halachas of this, I already explained everything in Makkah. I mean, it, it, to, to, to the chinuch, there's not really, there's not like a mice, a mitzvah that sees a makalagagecha that has rules to it, and then there's a separate lava, the sasan dom of the that's much more general. Both things are really, have the same general. There's vasisa makalagagecha, which is the assay of being careful, and um, and there's, and um, and, and then there's the lois assay, which is the flip side of it. But that begs the question, though, is that the Ram is quoting Chazal when he says these things about, like, if it doesn't have dalad al dalad amas, it's. Um, you don't have to put a mock up. And, and he himself quotes it, quotes it, the, 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 the Chinuch himself. It says, any bias that doesn't have Arab Islam, it says, Potter. And Potter, here's a Potter Midrashas. Vishayin Asirim Ladira. So, what's the Pshad? I mean, if it's just a thing not to make sure if there are dangers on your property, so like, why does, you know, why, why, why do we care what, what the house is used for? Yeah, you have to say that even like the Chinuch, at the end of the day, the Torah said, Vasisamaka Legagecha. Uh, you know that that kisivna bias chadash the assay of of protecting your property from things is only when you, it's only when it's a house, it's not just for any property no matter what it is. When you own a house and what is, defines a house, it has to be royal ladir, it has to be where people live, it has to be dalad al dalad amos, it has rules toward the house. That's when you have the assay. You're right. The assay is a general thing. It's not specific to putting a fence around your roof. Meaning in the Rambam, it's a specific assay. Put a fence around your roof. The loisase is very general. The loisase includes anything else, anything else that's dangerous. 
But in it, but but the assay is very specific. Put a fence around your roof. In the chinuch, both the assay and the loy assay are very general. Except the chazal telling you that they're mugder, but it has to be a house, though. Well, what is a house? A house has rules to it. It has to be dalad by dalad. It has to be it has to be royal adir. Otherwise, you don't you don't uh, you don't have this assay and this loy assay. I think that's a very clear machlek between the chinuch and, and the rambam. I would think one, benaf, one big nafkamino would be as follows: the rambam paskins and hilchus brachos. Rambam says when you put up a makkah, you make a bracha. Right, so uh, that's another important point. We'll get to in a second. Wait, what happens if you got the guyish contra- contractor? What if Jimmy's putting up uh, putting up the fence for you? He's been kind to your mitzvah. That's like having a while. Hey, Jimmy, yeah. shake my lula for me. Yeah. He's a guy. He can't be a shliach. Jimmy, the guy. Okay, maybe you got to do that. Okay, but, yeah, I don't think people think of that. So you want to know? So what you want you want to say is that because it's not it's not um, okay. it doesn't have the rules of a roof. First of all, some porches may be Dalad al-Dam, but Dalad al-Dam, especially... The way you're describing that walkway, isn't... Dalad al-Dam is pretty big. That's, that's it depends, yeah, but also it doesn't have to be a full... It doesn't have to be Dalad al-Dam in all directions, as long as the total area can be Dalad al-Dam. We, we're we're machmer on it. Um, but it's not... It's not nothing, but yeah. It's not... It's... It's pretty... This, yeah, but Dalad al-Dam might be a child, but we'll get to it, because there's, there's a stipler about it. Um, and um, so... so, so We'll get there in a, in, in, in a second. We'll build up that. But I'm just saying that the Ramah Paschal is that there's a bracha. Uh, he says, if you build the mica yourself, you're supposed to make a bracha, la um, maka. And if someone else builds the maka, it's al mitzvah's maka, something like that. I'm, I'm not saying exactly right, but there's a different bracha. But, but the Ramah says there's clearly a bracha. That's because I think the Ramah holds vasisa maka as a maisa mitzvah to make a maka. I would think like the chinuch, that it's just the flip side of lesas nomim sechad. Don't have dangerous things around your house. So it's not. A, it's not. A, it's not an action of asisa makal gechel. Makal gechel is just an example. The way I understand the chinuch, it's an example, and it, and it gives you the rules that it has to be a house. Maybe some of the rules that it has, but it's an example of make an assay to make sure. Do actively make sure there aren't there aren't things around your house. But it's not a ma'isa mitzvah. I, don't, I, I I would not think in the chinuch, and I would think in the chinuch maybe there, there, there would be no bracha. But the chinuch names on that that the Rambam says there's a bracha. The chinuch also. Not that not all Paisim are convinced that there's a bracha. We do go with the minag is to go with the Rambam if you have an opportunity. It's a great mitzvah. Um, uh, if you have a choice between two houses and you can't, there's no deciding factor between the two, and one of them has uh, has a, has an area with no maka, a roof with no maka, and you want to put it up. It's a great mitzvah. It should be could be a deciding factor. You can get to make a bracha on it, and um, one of those one of those things will have one opportunity. Uh, uh, one opportunity to do. Can you knock so, it down and then put it up? Yeah. So they say not. They're not supposed to do that. I, it, what? If, you, if you do, it's like... No, because you, if it has a mic and you knock it down, you're only over and something, then you put it back up. Oh, that's the idea is that if it's... It, put it's it down, a it's very, you might be right. It's, right. it's not right. right. They're telling... Yeah, right. So that's that. That's that. You that's what I want to get to that in a second. So that's what... That's what... Yeah, they say not to do it. They're not supposed to knock it down. Important. It's like uh, we have a lot of examples of this. Well, we're generally mitzvahs. We don't do that, even though, yeah, technically, why not? I mean, like I get a mice, but there's a result here that's supposed to. Be, you have the result. Don't start. Didn't we say that, oh, this is for the process. For the mitzvah, you get it every single second, and it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The price seems, if people do say that. I'm not convinced that that's true, but there, are, there are people is there do any say. Making it better. Adding on as much actual. No, once it's there, it's I there. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Once it's 10, 12, I mentioned. No, just the other thing brought. I don't think so. That's not, it's not. Um, Why can't you make yeah. it a better fence? I mean, for me, it's possible. It's your answer, your answer. I thought it was on the hundred. Huh? That's not very high. I understand. But once you're yet, you're yet. Sign up for a little maybe, bit. Maybe you could say, if you could say you weren't, you only like one sheet, so you only got a chayim and another sheet at Fachim, you didn't get a chazim and a sheet at Fachim, you know, maybe. Uh, but. Okay, now, there, there, so there's, a, there, there's another discussion here, just getting back to that point. What do you do with the, with, if the guy is putting up the fence for you? The, the, um, the Machnefrayim wants to say that it depends. If he's your poil, and now, the poil has to be very clear. There, there's people see this a lot and they make a mistake. Poil means he's a day, you're paying him wages by the day. That's what poil means. It does not mean a kablo. Meaning standard contractors and so like that are kabloanim. Although, I've been told that the industry is changing for, for, for insurance purposes or whatever. They're no longer, they're setting up their jobs as hourly, as hourly wages now, not Seriously? as, not as, a, not as, a, to avoid getting sued or stuff like that, it's easy, it's better if they set it up as hourly. Um, 
But um, I've been told that a lot of people are, are switching to that, which, uh, which would be a mile maybe for this. It makes it much worse when you get a Shabbos, by the way. So just to uh, get a Shabbos, you know, does they have a work for you? It makes it much more maker a din that it's also to have them working oh, for you if they're, if they're Yad. Because Yad Poil, if Yad Balabayas. Um, so since so the Shemach of Friends says, but again, this, let, let's stay on topic, even though I mentioned that, Yad Poel Kiyad Balabayas says the Machin of Friam, the male, if, even, even if it's a guy doing it for you, it's like you're doing it and, and, and you can make the bracha. If he's a worker who you pay wages to by the hour. Uh, now the question is, what I'm not sure about is, let's say you got the Yiddish a contractor, who, he is a contractor, he's a cobbler, but he pays this guy by the hour. He's paying Jimmy by the hour, who's putting up, uh, who's putting up, uh, putting up your fence for you. So then, so, 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 so the Yad Poyal Kiyad Balabayas goes, you, you can make your contractor, uh, your shliach, who's a Jew, and then he has Yad Poyal Kiyad Balabayas on it, l'chari, to, to be, to be yod to the mitzvah. That's what Machim Fraim says. Then he wants to say, you know what, even without all this, he says, what, he says, he brings the Shubas Rashba, says, the Rashba says, you can have a guy be toibel kalim for you. What's well, it, it's a din in the result, you need a result of tevila. So same, it's a result, he says, of having a fence up. So since it's a result of having a fence up, who cares how, I, I don't need, I don't need, I don't need to, I don't need to be doing it. But then he backs off and then he says, no, he says, even if, if, if you have a guy be toivo kalim for you, the Rosh is saying that tefillah's kalim is a good kalim, but you don't make a brach on it. It says, you, you lost out the Maisa mitzvah. You, the result is there. So your kalim, maybe, maybe you'll have the result of having the mitzvah of, of that you're living in a house with a mic around it, maybe you'll have. But you missed out on the Maisa mitzvah by having a guy do it. They said, you missed out on the Maisa mitzvah of Tevila's kalim. So even though the result can still be accomplished, but the Maisa mitzvah is missing, and therefore he says you don't make a brach on it if you have a, if you have a guy do it. No, but there the Maisa is having it wrapped around it. Who's the one that makes the brach on the person who's having it wrapped around them. The person who has it wrapped around them? So yeah. Instead of saying, look at the Chabad, right? That's what yeah, that's the right. Yeah, but, saying, right? but there, there's no, there's no Indian that you have to be the hand that's pulling it. No, yeah, the idea is that someone else is, is doing the nice The fact is that you are in the middle of doing the mitzvah based on someone else's nice Yeah, but there it's you're not, you're not, that's I, I hear that. what you're saying. It's not, it, it's not, but there it's, the, the, by filling these types of things are called Maisa Shiva Gufu. They're, they're, they're different in the sense, no shlichus works by those things. It just doesn't work at all by those things. The point is, it's just something your body needs to experience. So your body has it on it. It doesn't well, matter who's, again, who's ultimate, tightening it. But ultimately, right now, well, the phone's on. I'm sitting in the sofa. I, like, I have my like, I, I don't think there's any mice in mitzvah by tillin. I think by tillin, it's a mitzvah shiva gufa. Your body needs to have tillin on it. Yeah, well, it's placing it. Right. 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 Yeah, but, I mean, but it's not the mice of placing it. It's placed. Yeah. I don't think there's a mice of mice so, of by tillin. You, you know, you said that you read some. There's no right? shlichus by it for that reason. That's supporting his point, but I still don't think it's a mice at all that, that, that has to do with it that you would say that here. Here, there's, a, there, there's an act of the, 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 the positive mitzvah is the act of putting up the mica that, that, that requires a bracha. That's what he, ba- he he's not sure, though. he's not 100% convinced I'm not going to but that's what he says. Shouldn't it be tali if you hold like the chanach or like the rambam? Well, I'm not sure if the chinuch b'chlau would have a bracha if I'm right about the chinuch, but, uh, um, but um, I'm not sure. Maybe you could play around with you could play around with all this stuff. Uh, okay, now so now the, the, the question is what's the, what's the, the, the Rambam paskent of here? He says echad agag vechad kol dar v'sheish b'sarkan of v'roish shakosh b'rod of yomos kagoyin shoyish lo be'erav bor bechatzero bein sheish b'mayim bein sheim b'mayim chayav lashas chul yogvoyas artfachim. You have to make a fence around it. That's gvoyas artfachim. So the big question is, and this is a machlek between the Minchas Chinuch and the Chayyadim, is how to read this Rambam. The, 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 the Chazal say, the, 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 it's a price that I'm quoting. It says that, or again, a Medrash, I think, that says that uh, uh, whatever, it lists a bunch of things. It says, V'hu hadin a bar or a bear, a pit is Chayyad, you have to make a fence around it, a pit that's in your shoes. Shenem al asosim domin b'vesecha. Right? So, so, so the Chayyadim says, and this is how he says it before, if you read the Rambam carefully in the Shulchan Aruch, he says it's the, it's the love that's being Machai of you in, 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 building, in building the fence around the bar. It's not a Mishasase of Asisa Maka. Asisa Maka is just for a Gagechla, it's just for a roof. It's just for, it, it has nothing to do with this. That's for a roof on a house, on a, on a base deer. A pit in your Rishus is not a, is not a roof on a house. It's just, it's just a pit that's sitting there. There's a separate lava, there's sauce and dome of and that's what the Rambam's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to put, you have to put a fence around. So at the Chayadim, you would not make a bracha if you put, if you put, if you put your pen to If you build a fence around a pool, you would not make a bracha at the Chayadim. And Chesunet says no. He says that, that, that the Rambam, the, 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 the bar that the Rambam is talking about that has water in it that's dangerous is Bechlava Sisamaka. It's part of it. Ah, the Dira has all sorts of rules to it. 
right? So what do you what do you do with that? What do you do with the what do you do with the dira? That's that's a good question, and, and uh, we'll see how the stipler the stipler comes in, uh, and um, and answers that. But um, uh, but. Uh, he says, Avada the bar is al is al the regular assay of asisa Michael Gagecha, and therefore he says you make a bracha on it, and it's and you're making the regular mitzvah assay of asisa Michael Gagecha. So putting a tarp on it is that considered? That would be another nafkamina. No, if it's asisa Michael Gagecha, it's got to be a micro. It has to be a fence of ten spachim. There's no other. There's no. Maybe you'll say if you obviously if you fill it in, you fill it in. I don't think a tarp is included in that. It just has to be something to show, or the, so. It, so it could be. Uh, some want to say just putting up a sign, like the like the chayyadim, just putting up a sign will be okay. I don't think so. No, you no, still no, have so, kids. You still have. You no, know. a sign is in one place. You can do a sign all the way around. I'm saying, but if you put something which isn't sturdy enough, like, it will fall. Right. You put so that could be shows. a big. That could be an afkamina. If you if you it's need a mica, if it's if it's like the minchaschin of that, so see some mica. The halacha is by mica. It has to be a permanent thing. It has to be able. You have to be able to lean on it. Uh, that's that's the halacha by Makkah. When you make a Makkah around your roof, you have to be able to lean on it. So like the like the Minchas Chinuch, that putting a pool around a, a fence around a pool is Vasisa Makkah. You have to be able to put you have to put a pool fence that you can even lean on and, and it won't fall over. Uh, like the like the Chayod, it could be anything that's just there to, to to you know to stop to warn the person is is, is really enough as long as it's not a Sasim Dami It could be enough. It could be enough like the Chinuch. I'm not sure though. You know I I. I you have to know where you draw the line, meaning, let's say you come to, you have a fence all around your property, right? So is that, is, is that a mica for the, for the pool? I would say, if you have a fence around there and your doors are generally closed, that people, you know, need to actually open them, right? The same way your pool fence is going to have a gate in it that can get open, your doors of your house and your, and your fence around, I would think, is enough to be considered, can be considered a, a, I'm not sure, like, how close does that have to be to the, to the thing? Well, what about for your family? So that's a, so. So if you have doors that, as far as the as far as that same you derive, so I'm not saying this is smart policy. And also, saw some dumb with the sefer could be able to to make a fence around the pool. But I'm not sure. Let, let's say you let's say you buy a house. There's a fence around the property, good sliding doors, but there's no fence around the pool. And you use it, and, and you want your kids to use the backyard. There's a playground back there. You so you put up a you do the smart thing. You put a fence around the pool. Do you make a brach on that? I'm not sure. No, I think there's a good side, side, yeah. Like the chinuch, like the minchas chinuch, you make a bracha. No, the minchas chinuch says you make a bracha on. If you have a pit that has water in, you put a fence around it, you make a bracha. It says. The same bracha. Well, see some Yes, it's that is a nichol on the pasuk of, of, of building a fence. Or let's say you go. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's say you, let's say you go to let's say you go to a house in Orlando and there's no fence around the pool. You will have to stay there. There's the big screen, you know, there's the big screen well, thing. Well, there's back doors, but I don't know. Maybe does they're not safe. It? Does he get on it? Well, no, but you're the cypher, you're high. No, it doesn't matter. Does he get on it? I don't know. Let's say Wouldn't no. Would there be enough minutes to climb your stairs? I would say there's not a problem. I would say there is in the problem. Would there be enough minutes to how long you're there for? Like Mizuza, if you're the Saifers, I'm not exactly. sure. I know. If it's a guy that owns a It's only for a Saifer, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, I've gotten some pushbacks from guys in the shul that I was tell- pushing on them chumras. Uh, oh, that when they buy your, your house, <laughs> that when you buy your house, you get mezuzahs right away. No chumras there. It's Mufurish Gemara. It's Mufurish Gemara and Shulchan Aruch. It's just Amorats just to think otherwise. But anyway, yeah. What are you saying? I just. I am not. I, I don't know. You don't own it. Yeah, I know you're, 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 you're renting it. The purpose is that, example, if a guy owns it, right? Yeah. It's not yours. You're renting it, what, for a week? Even for a month, the point is, is that you're I'm not outside you your, your house. house. Yeah. Same idea. You don't, you don't, you don't have any rental items on the pool there. Exactly. The hotels huh? usually have a fence. The same thing here. This is an amenity. When you rent a house and there's a pool, you're renting the pool, but the pool is considered an amenity. It's not. It's okay. The pool is there because you rented the house. I hear. Okay. So you're saying, let's say you rent a property, forget, let's say you rent a property and there's talking no fence around. There is an open pool. They don't even have that Orlando screen around it. There is no pool. You can't there's no the fence. Sign. You're not allowed to hang the sign on the wall. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed to do anything. It's not so maybe you don't rent the house. So maybe don't rent the house. You're not allowed to do anything. So don't so don't rent, rent it house. then. Maybe okay. I don't know if that's a I don't know if that's a hat. Don't you, can't, you have a you have a you have a death trap in the house. Don't rent it. I thought we said before that the <coughs> theme is on the owner of the house. 
No, no, no. The, 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 there is a chiyav on the seicher. Midra bonad. The, the shaila is, is, it, is that chiyav midra bonad, mafkia the chiyav from the owner or not. I was wanted to say before that it may trans if the owner he should be switches conversation. Yeah. The owner, right, when he starts running it out, maybe that responsibility since it's being occupied by somebody, that shifts over to him. Would you say that that's possible? That is the sh- yeah, that is that is the question. That the that, that price can have. Does it switch over from the owner to the renter? Maybe he loses the right to that mitzvah to an extent. Yeah, that is the it's not it's not clear that halacha. But the seicher definitely if the owner is not doing it, the seicher definitely does have a chiv. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. So uh, Lamaisa at the end of the day, bottom line, putting up a pool of fences, a is chai adam and and amet chaschinuch. Would you make a bracha on it according to the Rambam? Um, and on top of that, I'm just not sure where you draw the line in terms of in terms of where the fence is. So probably I wouldn't make a bracha b'shem lamachos on it if you put up the fence. But you do have to have a fence around your pool. Yeah. Let's say someone someone shows up to a house. Yeah. You talk about my renter, Charlotte. That's what I mean. Like a. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's too short of a time. Like someone's saying, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um. Yeah. Okay. So now the next. So now, now the next shayla comes up like this. What happens? Let's say you have. Oh, let's say you have a porch off the side of the house. Um, so the porch is a porch from Where does it? Where does it fall into? On the one hand. Um, on the one hand, you have this halacha is about a bias. It's got to be. It's got to be a. It's got to be the roof of a dira. It's got to be four by four, and you know it's got to be. It's got to be ten tefachim on the inside of it. You know it's got to be ten tefachim deep. The Menachem himself says that 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 he says that it, if if you have a house that's not ten tefachim deep on the inside, right? The roof is not chayav and amaka, right? So if so if there's a, if there is if if your porch is over no house, it's just foundation and ground. There's no house underneath it. It's not a gog of a house. So the chayyim shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be chayyim anything. Let's say your roof is just like hanging. Let's say you have a porch right out here, so it's just hanging out, right? Do you have to build a mic around that porch? Can you leave that porch completely open? So according to Rabbi said before, by that other person, then maybe he doesn't. So that's what, that's that, that's. Uh, I, I think that guy, the way his house was, happened to be there was probably a basement underneath that porch. We'll build um, yeah, the way this house was built, I'm, I'm guessing there was basement yeah. underneath that. If there's basement underneath it, then it's mamish Lagagan. Um, and I've, uh, seen, I've seen a bunch of houses that have steps. And again, just somebody was more before about the porch before. It's not the porch for before. It's the bias underneath that's more before. It's oh. It has to be a dira. It has to be a roof of a dira. So if the porch is over a house that's four by four, it doesn't matter if the porch is not four by four. That's the porch true. needs the, the, the it's not it, it, that's it was a little bit of a mistake that we made before. Um, so um, so the, so so this is a major machlokes from the Chazanish and the stipler. The stipler very rarely argues on the Chazanish, but uh, but here he does. The Chazanish wants to say he he wants to say a chiddush like this. He says, well, what's with all these dinim? He says he doesn't even understand. He says the Rambam passing is a bias doesn't have dial badel. The God doesn't need a maka. Let, let's say it doesn't need a maka. Let's not say what happened to the leisa say. Let's doesn't dami v'secha. It's mashal on the Rambam. You don't have to do it at all. So you want to say there's no there's no active assay. Maybe you're not going to make a bracha. But what happened to the leisa say? Let's doesn't dami v'secha. So Chazanish wants to say like this. He wants to say he wants to be mechadish that really porches and roofs are not really enough dangerous enough that we can be high of you. It's the sauce of dami v'secha. But they're not death traps. People know to be careful when you're on a roof, all right? They, they, they see the edge of the roof, he says. They're on a roof. They know to be careful, even on a porch. He says, people know to be careful. He says, really, it's a chiddish of the Torah, of Aziz Magal Gecha, that in certain situations you have to make a, you have to make a, this is a very chazanish, this type of art. But he says, it's a chiddish of the Torah, of Aziz Magal Gecha, that, that in certain situations, or even, even though it's a roof and you're aware, you have to, you have to make a maika. He says, the real danger is a pit in your, in, in your shus. He said, that people don't really know to look for. You know, people are just walking around your property and suddenly, bam, they're at the bottom of a well. So that's really, that's the, that's the real Sakhani, he says. That's, that's Mikar Adin, L'Sassim Dami V'Vesecha. Uh, or maybe, he's not clear, is it, is it Vasi Samak or is it, is it L'Sassim Dami? I mean, he's not necessarily weighing it on that Machlekes, but he says that's a real, that's a real Sakhani. He wants to say any porch or any roof is not real, is not real, is a Sakhani. And therefore, if it doesn't, it's not Nichol in the Dinim of Vasi Samak or Gagecha, there's no base deer underneath it, then, then the Chazanish says you are not M'chuyv in it. So if you have a back porch, Right. Someone. Another reason is why, why why I started looking into this is because um, someone told me his father-in-law bought a house in Jackson, 
beautiful farm property and it's got this huge porch on the back thing and it's and it's got this like beautiful brick fence or all around you know wall all and it's a, it's a pretty high porch it's more than 10 falcon off the ground uh, there's no house underneath the porch uh, but the the this brick fence is only like 28 inches high uh, this this thing um, and you know it's right under any shear that's going to work for 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 uh, for a mic, even the most makel de shear. So and his father really does not want to does not does not want to you know do anything to this. They, 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 it's not push it to put even to extend it a little bit with some iron work is not push it at all for whatever reason. I don't really understand why. And to knock it down and redo it, you know, he, he's really not interested in doing it. And he's basically ignoring it right now. And, you know, I was telling the guys like I, you might you, you might have a bit to last say and let's say every second here. That he's not doing it like this is that I don't know, it's not pasha. Uh, so the one eitzah so that that I came up with for this guy is well, the chazanish. The, 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 if there's no house underneath it, it's not a god. The chazanish is saying you don't really need a mica for this. You need you also saw some dome of a He says he says you, you shouldn't do it. So therefore he says like maybe three tefachim is enough. He says you know if kids can climb on it, maybe it's too, like you know he, he basically says at that point you have to use seicho like what you're doing. He says he's talking about you know an Israeli porch uh, 10, 10, 10 floors up. He's not going to tell you oh no mica you know just like go wild you know uh you know thing obviously you have to he's just saying the din of needing a needing a fence of ten falcon you don't need you can play around with it and and, and do something else you get, you um, that's you safe like, love wood and all those things <laughs> so they say so love wood does not well, no they say you cannot do love wood for, yeah, for a fucking they, they, they do discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. um right a few strings and uh it's a lot of it. It's good to go. People are just falling in. Like, I don't understand. Like, Bar Bar said it's closed. Like, why are people falling in? Uh, they obviously, and I'm not mean them. That's it. Keep on They just, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, the, uh, so that's the Chazanish sheep. The, the stipler says it can't be um, uh, the Shevel Levi. Also, strong yards with Chazanish, uh, both from the camp, from the Chazanish camp people, but they both strongly argue, Shev Levi says, so Akadei Kachy argues, he says, you make a brach on it, even in the case of Chaznish, and they, they want to say as follows, they want to say that, um, that uh, this, they say this, that, is similar to the Chaznish, but a little bit different, this, that Gog has these rules of, of Gog of a base Dira, what about a Gog of a base Dira, that's because roofs are not generally you, they're not part of the Dira, they're not part of the house. Unless you have like a, a real base dira, then the god becomes like a significant area of usage where 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 it becomes mechuyev in, in vasisim agarecha. But they say something that's just an extension of your house, like a porch. It's, it's partial that that's that that's mechuyev in your house. Now that Shev Levi says, let's say you build a staircase in your house, right? Well, are you mechuyev maker to build a makkah so that people don't fall down that staircase? Chazanish would say no. There's no chiyim maker din maker din thing. You got to be smart. Don't again. Don't leave death traps in your house. But are you mechuyim maker din to build a ten tefach makkah around that entire you know area of the staircase to make sure make sure people don't fall? No. The the, the, the says yes. Of course you are. Right. Second floor and land. Like you know, there's some people have those. You know, you walk across a hallway that's like open to the living room below. Right. If I do, you have to build me ikra din. But see some makkah gechla. You are mekayim as I say when you do that. Gagechla is just a chiddush that even though it's on your roof and you don't normally use the roof and then it has these rules of four tefachim not four amas you know and, and and different rules but this says something that's just an extension of your house is a vada chayev and that's why a bar is chayev they say a bar is just anything that's in your chotzer is going to be chayev so, so I'll give you another example this came at my, my, my father-in-law's house although I, in the end it's lower than ten tefachim high but um, he has a summer house in Muncie and um they just moved to this new neighborhood, Montebello. Fancy houses over there. The guy, uh, the guy realized they could sell their houses for a lot of money that they built um, for nothing like 20 years ago. And they all built these, they all, they're like built by one contractor. So all the houses are like exactly. the same with like a little variation. So yeah, so they, yeah, like something like that. So they all have these very similar pools where there's a, where there's a jacuzzi that's up and it has like a, wa- it's higher up than the rest of the pool. And like the water goes over it oh, into... Yeah into the rest of the pool. And it's a very cool effect. It's beautiful, but it's high. And it's it's ten tefachim. It, it could be, this happens to not be, it's like just under ten tefachim. But let's say it was ten tefachim off the ground. The jacuzzi or the pool? The jacuzzi. The pool's lower, and then the jacuzzi is ten tefachim raised. You go some stairs up to it. And the jacuzzi itself has, has, a, has I mean, the walls that's in the No, but, but outside, there's like a landing area outside where there's some chairs, you know, and there's, yeah. there's a whole area outside. And kids, you know, uh, kids can fall off it very easily. Uh, it's not like not not the safest thing in the world. So maybe there's a sauce and dummy with But the question is, Meikar Adin doesn't need a maka. Not careful when you do. Huh? Not careful when you do. Um, I mean, sometimes careful. 
He has a point. My wife's playing like you're just playing. Like he has a point. Yeah. Like you're playing in a pool, you're playing in a pool, but you're not like yeah, like, but like, yeah, like, but, falling yeah. over in the pool. Like, okay, but sometimes the kids outside, they're not even in the pool, so the parent. Well, let's say they're not swimming in Shabbos, so the parents outside, but they're not really paying attention. They've gone inside to get their their fifth ices of the afternoon already. Um, you know, and the kid's out there, and the kid falls and bangs their head, and you know, one roll, and they're in the pool. Um, it's not the. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I really understand the idea of a mic around the pool, because when you're around the pool, it's like you don't walk in the street and stand in the middle of Ocean Parkway. When you're around the pool, you're careful. You're not a kid. Not a kid. Not right. A kid. First of all, it's kids not are not careful, and second of all, I mean. No access to Ocean Parkway. Because of access to the pool. Yeah. So, uh, uh, really, yeah. That, that's that's well, probably the main thing. Your front door. Yeah. That becomes part, that, that's really part of the Shiloh. What is it? If it's just Lissas and Dome of Sakla, you hold fences. I don't need a fence around my pool. It's not dangerous. There's no kids around. My kids are all moved exactly. out of the house. So if that's also Lissas and Dome of Sakla, you don't have to. If it's also a Sisa of Makla Gechel, then you have to. You've got to put them in If you're back. going to a place which is, which is uh, you have little kids, right? Uh, you don't have any little kids. It's only your older or people who are older, then you don't need a fence. Well, it's already 45 minutes. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's the that, that's the Shiloh. So the, the head of the, in a, lot, a lot of cases you see like this would be um, the hetter would be the chazanish. Listen, the chazanish is uh, the the, the for him say you shouldn't you shouldn't be machmer like the like the stipler and the um, and uh, and the shevet alevi. But uh, you know, I don't know sometimes you can't tell your shver what to do. So uh, uh, so it could be in those cases. Agrees that it's a less awesome dumb. So, he put it, but 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 a twenty eight. It depends on the situation. Like ask them also some like if it's ten twelve on the ground, but there's grass underneath it. You know, awesome. a is it a death trap? Like a kid will fall and get a, get a scrape. You know, like you know again, it depends on the situation. Like here, a fellas has you talking about a little kid maybe going over into a, into into a pool. It's a little, it's a little bit more. I don't think his his situation needs 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 Mike. Anyway, like I said, it's less than ten twelve. The trial is is it less than dumb to So that depends if you ask. A man or a woman or you know yeah, and yeah. whatever you know so there's all sorts of opinions on that that's the problem uh, but um, uh, whatever that's uh, is that steps, in, yeah. people have I guess steps we'll that go up leave the Tanya for tonight it's already 45 minutes go ahead four, four, four and a half 